understanding tens and ones. We can use a piece of paper or cardboard with the tens and ones place. We can put counters in the boxes to make numbers that go up to 99. Here we have three counters in the tens box and two counters in the ones box. That would be three tens and two ones. That would be 32 in all. We count how many tens and how many ones are in the boxes. And we can make our own groups of 10. We can use popsicle sticks. We can use paper, toothpicks, paper clips, or straws. And as I said before, we can make our own rod of 10, our own long. Just take a piece of school paper and count 10 lines, and you can make cuts and make your own longs of 10. See? You can use that to count tens. We can circle groups of 10 to help us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We circle that 10, and we circle that 10. Now we know we have two 10s, so we write 2. We count our 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have four 1s, so we have 24 in all. Two 10s and four 1s. Here, we circle our groups of 10. We have 10 here. We circle another group of 10. That's two 10s. We count our 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have seven ones. We have 27 in all. Two 10s and seven ones. Here, we circled only one group of 10. And there's one, two, three, four ones. We have one ten and four ones. We have 14 in all. Here we circled three groups of 10. We have three tens and we have one, two, three, four, five ones. So we have 35 in all. We can estimate how many there are by circling one group of 10. Estimate means to find a number close to the exact amount. It's like we're guessing. So we look at all these orange dots and we circle one group of 10. Now looking at this, how many do you think could be here? Well, if that's a 10, we got about 20, 20 something, right? So we can estimate there's about 25 of them. When we circle our groups of 10, here's another one. We have two 10s. We count our 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we guessed there was about 25, and the exact amount was 26. We circle more groups of 10 and count the exact amount. So circle one group of 10, and then give a good smart guess to how many you think might be there. If that's 10, then maybe there's about 40 here. That would be my guess. So I'm going to estimate about 40. Now let's circle the groups of 10 to find out how many there really are. So that's one 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's another 10. So we have four 10s and 1, 2, 3, 1s. So it was exactly 43. When you estimate, you try to make a smart guess. It's called an educated guess to how many you think there might be. Then you can count and find out how many there exactly are. So make your own groups of 10. You can use many things to make your own groups of 10. Okay, I'll see you next video. Bye.